Today in Colorado, flash flooding and record rainfall had thousands more people fleeing for safety. This morning, the National Guard was able to get into the small town of Lyons, where more than a thousand people were trapped for more than a day. An intense storm dumped more than 150 millimeters of rain on the area in less than 24 hours. And the governor warns the danger isn't over yet. We'll have more on this story coming up shortly. An Indian court has sentenced four men to death for brutally raping a woman who later died. The young woman was attacked on a bus in New Delhi last December. The crime sparked nationwide protests and gained worldwide attention. In issuing the sentences, the judge said the attack had shocked India's collective conscience and that courts cannot turn a blind eye to such crimes. The death sentence is very rare under Indian law, with only three executions in the past 17 years. The condemned men plan to appeal their case to the High Court. This is a, a huge impact for the cause of independence of Quebec because in the uh, ethno-cultural people uh, right now, the link of confidence is broken. That's Quebec MP Maria Morani speaking out today about Quebec's proposed Charter of Values. Morani was ousted from the Bloc Québécois caucus yesterday for criticizing it. If the Charter becomes law, it would ban provincial employees from wearing overt religious symbols or garb. Today, the Parti Québécois minister responsible for promoting the Charter said politicians in the rest of Canada lack the courage to have the same debate. Bernard Drainville told CBC Radio's The House he believes many Canadians would welcome similar measures in other provinces. The Governor-General has approved Stephen Harper's request to prorogue Parliament. The House of Commons will now resume on October 16th instead of three days from now, as was originally scheduled. The Prime Minister will return with a speech from the throne that's expected to focus on jobs and the economy. Opposition leader Tom Mulcair says the delay is totally unacceptable and Liberal leader Justin Trudeau has called it a shame.